Hi everybody. Sorry. Did you... No, no, you no. go. Hi everybody, and welcome to this episode of Inside of Afghanada with Billy. Hi, I'm Billy. I play Lucas Chucky Manson on Afghanada. My first question for all of my guests is, who are you and what do you do? You can ask it, right? Who are you and what do you do? Oh, I'm Zachary. I'm Zachary Bennett, um, and I like to I like to act. And who, what do I do in Afghanada? Sure. I'm uh, I'm Riddell. He's uh, this guy. He comes in, and mm -hmm. he wants to he wants to help rebuild Afghanistan. He's a humanitarian. Excellent. Where were you born and raised? <clears throat> I was born in uh, London, Ontario. I was raised there until I was about five, and then I, I came to Toronto. Excellent. When you were a kid, did you have any uh, nicknames growing up? That I can say in this? Sure. Um, <laughs> you get, there's no, uh, there's no censor on this, there's so no you censor. can say whatever you want. <laughs> Uh, do I have any nicknames? I don't think I had any nicknames actually. Like, not like like Gunner or something. Like, yeah, yeah, no, no, it's just it's Zach. How long have you been acting? Oh boy, twenty five years. Well, okay, so how old were you when you started? I was five. <clears throat> what, what was your job when you were five? It was a French Rice Krispies commercial. <laughs> uh, it was with my my sister Marin, and uh, we were both the kids who reacted to the little. Uh, snap, crackle, and pop, oh, yeah. but it wasn't yeah. snap, crackle, and pop, it was creak, crack, crock. Wow. Excellent. I did, I did really well. Um, <clears throat> so were you a working actor when you were five? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it was mostly like uh, commercials at that, okay. at that point. But. Did they ever do anything to you, you know, you hear those stories about like, you know, pinching kids' feet or telling them they're going to shoot their puppy or something like that in order to get in a, a performance out of them? No, I never got pinched. Um, there was, actually, that's not true, I got squeezed. Once I was, I was about 12 years old. I was shooting a, a mini series. The same. I was telling you, I cut my leg open in Czechoslovakia. Whittling. Whittling. Trying to bring whittling back. <clears throat> I was the same project. I was with a, a gentleman, uh, and he was. Uh, he had his hand over my mouth. And in the scene, you see, I'm very upset and tears streaming. I look terrified. Well, because the other hand, he he wasn't realizing, but he actually had my little, a little baby fat in a full fist, mm. and he squeezed that. So at the end of the. The, the, the night I remember like pulling up my shirt and seeing like like a black bruise. I got an idea. Let's at lunchtime, it? no, at oh. lunchtime you were saying you're in a rock and roll band. What's the name of your band? Plug your band. Uh, Tin Star Orphans. Excellent. Look them up. Com. Um, you got it. Full gotta, Hand of Baby Fat, I think would be a great song. Full Hand of Baby and Fat. And plus you're emotionally connected to the song. I love it. I'm going to do it. All right, excellent. <clears throat> Fistful of Baby Fat. So if you're that. <laughs> Did you go to school as an actor? Or? I I, uh, I succeeded in dropping out of school as an actor. That's that's usually where you dropped out of high school. Yeah, I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh, did I learn like? Did I go to theater school? Yeah. No, no. I, I yeah. I started at five, and uh, and I, I pretty much had a had a steady gig throughout throughout that. So by the time I got into high school, I was you were already a veteran. I was already a veteran. When everyone else your age was starting, <clears throat> you were already a veteran. Since you are a veteran. Yes. Um, could you do a death scene for us? Oh, better than Pooley's? Better than Aaron Pooley's, yeah. Right here? He was so self-conscious of his, you shouldn't pick on it. I, I kind of want to reenact Pooley's. Okay, I was like, go ahead. Didn't he grab you or something? Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do the best death you've ever seen in your whole life. Okay. Right now. <laughs> That was pretty good. Thanks. Um, do you have any advice to any uh, Canadian kids that want to grow up and be an actor? Don't do that. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I, you know, I, I've, I'm now a dad, and so it's, it's, it's my opinions on it uh, changed a little bit. I think acting is a beautiful thing. I don't think you have to do it professionally until you're a grown up. That's I started. I professionally acted from five on, and I don't think that was worth it. You just, you don't need all the coke I had when I was six. That was, that was a lot. Mm. Um, so it, I think, I think it's better to just, to uh, focus on your school 
and uh, take uh, community theater is awesome very underrated amazing experience uh, theater camp you ever do that I never did that Bible camp I went to Bible camp I really they had water skiing and girls man it was... did they have girl water skiing like yep. you just sit back and yep. see that's what you should be doing don't act until until you're like what 16 18 then you can start showing up for those auditions. My last question to all of my guests is always, is there something I should have asked you that I didn't ask you? You asked about the band, we plugged it. Yep. You, you didn't ask what I have coming up, which is great. I appreciate that. that you, you don't have anything that. coming up. You got an episode of Afghanita coming on. I do. Yep. I'm playing Riddell. Yep. It's a humanitarian. Excellent. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.